Hey everyone and welcome to the stream. My name is Vey from AI Evolved and in this video we are going to be going through chapter 4 of this guide that I've put together today. It's called Focal and what it will do is it will allow you to create images that you want to create exactly how you want to create them. So that was a thumbnail that you clicked on but yeah we're just going to stick with chapter 4 for now. I will be creating a follow-up video um, to this. This is of course like a quick and dirty live stream but I'll be creating a polished video that will go out in about one to two weeks from now that will go into all of this guide in depth and there will also be a link for you to download the guide in the future as well. So there's 10 different styles here and we're going to get into the first style which is classic portrait. Now classic portrait, the key elements within this image are the subject, the age, the face of the facial expressions, the camera angles, and the eye direction. And for classic portraits, as part of focal, using frame composition and optimal lighting to highlight the subject's features will give it real elegance and simplicity. So this is the prompt for that image there. So a close-up portrait photo of an elderly gentleman smiling warmly with eyes full of stories captured in frontal angle with soft natural lighting illuminating his features against a simple, elegant backdrop. Aspect ratio 2x3, version 6 style raw. And 2x3 is like a typical aspect ratio to use within photography. It's really good when you do that. And so that's that, classic portrait. Let's get into the next one now. Environmental portrait. So the key elements for this are setting and background, nationality and cultures, and roles and professions. So for environmental portraits as part of focal, you want to focus on the camera angles and perspective for incorporating the surrounding context meaningfully and then using aesthetic styles will help blend the subject into their environment in a unique way. As you can see here, there's a really nice like tree in the background and she's wearing her traditional attire there as well. So a photo of a young Asian woman in traditional attire standing serenely in a blooming cherry blossom garden at dusk. Her gaze is thoughtful and distant as the environment tells a story of cultural heritage and personal connection. Again, same aspect ratio, version 6, style raw. Then the third one is candid portrait. So key elements here are facial expressions, camera angles, eye direction, and makeup style. So for candid portraits, as part of focal, focus on lens focus and depth of field to capture spontaneous moments with authenticity and to emphasize natural expressions and actions of the subject. So a candid shot of a group of friends laughing together at a cozy urban cafe with natural sunlight casting playful shadows over their casual attire, capturing a moment of genuine joy and connection with the city's vibrant life as their backdrop. So that's really natural there. If we like zoom in, you can see even the scratches on the window, which is incredible. And the filament of the light as well is reflected on the window, as you can see there. So yeah, I'm really impressed actually, the jump up in quality from Mid Journey version 5.2 to version 6. It just does so much better with so many more details that you give it. So let's now focus on lifestyle portraits. So key elements here are setting and background, roles and professions, accessories and fashion look. So for lifestyle portraits as part of focal, focus on aesthetic styles and frame compositions to tell a story about the subject's personal life or interests. So for those of you watching, I will be creating a follow-up to this video this is like a quick and dirty live stream so that will be coming out in like a week from now or two weeks from now it'll be a polished version of this and i'll be going through all 30 pages and you will also be able to get the guide for free as well that i'll pin down below in the comments um but yeah so let's move on so an outdoor portrait of a stylish young entrepreneur on a warm summer night in italy dressed in smart casual clothing his confident stance and engaging smile reflect a modern lifestyle with historical city streets providing a rich textured background. Aspect ratio 2x3 and that's the image there. It's done really good with the bokeh. Bokeh is basically the uh, blurred background so it's done really good. And uh, yeah he's got some weird tattoo as well <laughs> on his uh, left forearm there. It's kind of uh, like an Illuminati one eye tattoo. <laughs> uh, right so glamour portrait then. So here the key elements are makeup style, makeup terms, jewellery, hair colour and female hairstyles. So for glamour portraits as part of focal, focus on optimal lighting and lens focus to highlight beauty and style. So this is a bit of a long uh, prompt but it did a very good job in picking up all of the nuances within that prompt. So 
an elegant close-up portrait of a woman exuding a sense of classy wo classic Hollywood glamour. Her full lips are painted with bold red matte lipstick, her eyelashes are thick with mascara and her cheeks are highlighted to perfection. The hair is styled in sleek vintage curls. All is set against the backdrop of soft, diffuse lighting to accentuate the luxurious feel of the scene. And it has done a really good job. I was about to say tremendous again. I'll keep saying tremendous. But I think it's done a really good job. Her eyes look so realistic. It's unreal. And uh, you can even see the veins as well. A little bit in her eyes. And then that lighting there is really blurred. And there's a little bit of greenness to the whole image as well. And a great deal of focus as well on her nose and everything there. So yeah, really good. I think 10 out of 10 on that image. So the next one is a surreal portrait then. So the key elements here are makeup terms, lighting, color, and accessories. So for surreal portraits as part of Focal, use aesthetic styles and camera angles to transform ordinary scenes into dreamlike or fantastical images. So the prompt is a close-up surreal portrait capturing a person whose eyes reflect the universe standing in an enchanted forest with trees of gleaming iridescent leaves under a swirling neon sky. So we can't see the you know, you know, the swirling neon sky as such, because it's not taken far back. Uh, nor can we see that he's clearly standing up, but I think he kind of is, I guess. But in terms of like blending, you know, the fantastical with the real, I think he's done a really, really good job there. And we can see like this glimmers of stars down below, which is like indicative of being like in a galaxy somewhere. And then it's, of course, seconded by like the realism of his eyes there. So it's done a really good job blending the two. And then, of course, the orb, right? The orb is like fantastical. That's not a real thing. So, yeah, I think it's hit it out of the park. That's I would give that like an 8 or 9 out of 10. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's a really good job there. So now the next one is a conceptual portrait. So the key elements here are camera angles, eye direction, makeup style, setting, and background. So for conceptual portraits, as part of Focal, focus on frame composition and aesthetic styles together to convey deep themes through carefully arranged visual elements. So there's a lot to this image. There's, of course, the clocks in all of their different positions. There's the pages as well in the background. And if you look closely, it's actually faded into her clothing as well. So uh, I've forgotten the name of that technique where you like blend two subjects or you blend like a landscape and a subject in one image. It's, it's escaped my mind, but that's a technique in photography that I can't remember where it is off the top of my head. But anyways, so the prompt goes, an artistic shot capturing a conceptual theme of time's passage, featuring a young woman with a thoughtful expression. She is surrounded by a flurry of floating antique clocks, each set to a different time against the backdrop of faded pages from old books, creating a narrative of the transient nature of moments and memories. And I think it's done a really good job there. So I'd say, to me, personally, I think that's my favourite one. I think that's my favourite one, because it's just got the most amount of detail to it and it's so nuanced as well with how it's picked up everything it's really really good and then there's this one so a fine art portrait so the key elements here are makeup style female hairstyles lighting and color so for fine art portraits as part of focal focus on aesthetic styles and optimal lighting to create images that evoke emotion or contemplation often with a unique or artistic approach so here's the prompt there. So an ethereal fine art portrait of a woman wearing a long flowing gown in soft pastel color. Her hair is decorated with delicate flowers and she's posing against a painterly backdrop, reminiscent of a Renaissance painting. Her gaze is serene and introspective, inviting the viewer into a moment captured in the gentle embrace during golden hour. And I think it has, again, done a very good job. Sometimes you'll find that the eyes are not quite human-like. So that's a little bit of an annoying thing there. But in terms of the graininess, as well as like the, of course, blur in the background. And the realism of the hair has gone up tremendously as well in version six compared to version 5.2 or five, it wasn't as good. So yeah, for the most part, it's definitely very good, but still not as favorite in my opinion as the previous one here. Um, so that's fine art portrait. And then this is the last one, corporate portrait. So key elements here, camera angles, eye direction, fashion look and makeup style. So for corporate portraits, as part of Focal, focus on camera angles and perspective and optimal lighting to ensure the subject is presented professionally, conveying confidence and competence. Of course, all of these different 
things are I've gone into depth in my guide here um, and yeah for those of you tuning in now that will be available when I create a polished video of what I'm doing now this is just a quick and dirty live stream but I'll create a polished video of this me going through all 30 pages of the guide so you can of course create images like you're seeing in front of you so this is the particular prompt then. So a professional portrait of confident business leader who's dressed in a sharp tailored suit and is looking directly at the camera with a commanding presence. Photographed in a modern office setting with a clean minimalist design. The lighting is perfectly balanced to highlight their assertive posture and determined expression. Aspect ratio 2x3, version 6 style raw, etc. So that's that. So that has been all of the 10 styles that I've gone through. Um, of course, there's a lot of things to understand before you get to this point of being able to do it fluidly and that's what the guide is for but i hope you've enjoyed that this was just chapter four of my guide you know this is the contents of what you'll get and there's a lot to it of course but i hope you've enjoyed this video and um yeah feel free in the meantime to you know watch other videos on my channel or other previous live streams but thank you for those tuning in right now um yeah, thanks to the HD Edge. HD Edge. I'll keep that in mind when I do the actual video. But thanks for that. Thanks for all tuning in as well. Um, but that's it. Yeah. And uh, I'll get to work now on the polished video of this. But yeah, enjoy your weekend wherever you are. And I've been Vey. Until next time. Peace.